What's up everybody, Nightcove the Fox here, and welcome back to the Closet Cosplay Challenge, where today, Timmy will be doing something over there, taking a leak. Good job, buddy. You're doing great. Anyways, today we are going to be doing a beloved character of Security Breach. Some love her, some hate her, some are somewhere in between. But today we are doing the pizza lover of Security Breach. This gal. <laughs> that's a... That's a look. Just a touch psychotic. But yes, today we are going to be doing Glamrock Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. She is probably going to be a relatively simple look. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with a humanized version of her. Um, I've seen quite a few really, really cute cosplays of her, like, circulating on, like, TikTok and Instagram, and they all look so adorable. I don't know if I'll ever live up to that standard, but I'm gonna try, because there's so many beautiful cosplays of her, and I am going to do my darndest to live up to that with the stuff I have in my closet, which is actually promising. I would say that I have a pretty cute outfit picked out for her. It's got the pinks, it's got the colors, it's got the vibes. So I'm excited for you guys to see this one. So I'm just gonna start out by putting a very thin layer of white snazaru on my face to kind of serve as a foundation of sorts or just to lighten my skin tone. I'm already very white, but she is even whiter, which is shocking because uh, I'm pretty white. But uh, I am going to look like a ghost for a minute because I'm gonna put this on my face. And I'll probably blend it down my neck a little bit since we're not going for like a animatronic sectioned look. So I'll probably try and blend it a little. But yeah, here we go, Chica time. Here, I'm also going to, whoa, not that. I'm going to try and move you guys a little bit this way. Is that the right direction? Because <laughs> my setup for these videos is very all over the place. I have like one light over there. I have a big standing lamp here. I have my LEDs on and I have a full body mirror in front of me. A and the other thing is my camera obviously can't be in front of the mirror because then I wouldn't be able to see myself. So you get this lovely like three quarter profile view whenever I do this half of my face. So I just tried to scooch you over a little bit, but I don't think that really made a difference. But you'll get to see this half of the face get done. So that's exciting. Someone's jamming music in their car in the neighborhood. They're having a good old time. Maybe that's DJ Music Man pulling up. Hello, it's me, Ghostface. Lovely to see you. I, I said a thin layer, and I promise this is a thin layer in person. I mean, I look pretty white, but it's not like if I were to put on a solid painted on layer. But on camera, <laughs> for some reason, the way the light hits me, it looks like I am an actual sheet of paper. So, I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing. Chica is solid white, but uh, just know that in person, it's not nearly this bright. <laughs> also, since the top I am going to be wearing is going to show like this area, I'm putting just a very, even thinner than I did on my face, but just enough so that like the difference isn't so stark. I mean, it's not super even by any means because this is sort of a rushed job, but you get the idea. Um, it's also not uh, gonna have long sleeves, so my arms are gonna be pretty tan too, but I'm not necessarily gonna worry about the arms so much because that would take a lot of time to try and get that even. And I'm not taking this to a convention per se, but if I were, I would probably go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm just blending it down to like my chest and slowly letting the white taper off a bit. I love how I said in the first episode, these aren't tutorials, and yet I'm speaking to you guys like this is a tutorial. It's not a tutorial, still, but if you want to follow along, you're welcome to do so. Let me know how that goes. All right, so I have my white base down. Um, my eyes aren't super covered, but that's because I'm going to be covering them in pink anyways. But I have my base down, so I think next I am going to do the eyes and the eyebrows. She does have some very thick uh, black eyebrows. Okay, well, I guess they're not that thick, but they're definitely very... 
these are her eyebrows. Oh, see, they're so bad that the camera it would rather focus on my curtain than focus on her. These are her eyebrows. My eyebrows are very straight, so I am going to fill in my brow as roundly as possible. I don't know, I'm gonna try to um, emulate this shape as best as I can. And then I will move on to the eyes and we'll go from there. You know, while I'm doing Chica's eyebrows, I figure, because I just had the thought, I was thinking of Roxanne's eyebrows, which were kind of fun to do, honestly, because I have done a full Roxanne cosplay. Um, not like as in the animatronic version, but I like humanized her, you know, uh, made the outfit and all that. It was super fun, a little difficult to make, but it was worth it in the end. I wish I had invested in better materials for the clothes because she did deteriorate after about two conventions of wearing her out. The tops and the the top and the bottoms are already, you know, peeling apart a little bit wherever I had to use multimedia glue to kind of hold the belt loops together and everything. So wasn't my best decision in terms of materials to use, but it was still really fun to make and fun to wear. But her eyebrows, like the makeup look was actually really fun to do because Roxanne has those like points at the tops of her arches, which was kind of cool. I like her eyebrows, they're unique. But uh, Chica's on the other hand are pretty basic. Like they're, I, and by basic, <laughs> sorry Chica. I'm sorry, you're just a basic bitch. But um, her eyebrows are much simpler to do. Also, speaking of basic bitches, um, fun fact for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure the whole freaking world knows at this point. There were lines that Heather Masters did that weren't used, but it's basically a carbon copy of, I think it's word for word, every single line Chica says, but as a valley girl. I thought that it was fake. I, to this day, I kind of think it's fake. I could be accidentally spreading disinformation right now and be unaware. But I'm pretty sure that like two or three of my friends now have told me like, no, no, that's real. And I was like, it is. But if you look it up, it's just, it's Chica, but she's like, this area is like totally off limits. Like, stop it. Like, no exaggeration, that's what it sounds like. Look it up, it's terrible. And I was like, thank God, that is one of the things I am glad they cut from the game if that was about to make it in because I would not have survived. I would not have, I, <laughs> I would have jumped off of a cliff if every 10 seconds, because as often as Chica speaks in the game when you're walking around, if I had to hear, like, stop it, oh my god, like, this area is for employees only, like, I would probably not want to live anymore. I started this eyebrow a little too full on the inner corner, so I wiped it off a little bit with some makeup remover wipe. And now I am just using my finger to touch up a little bit of white because it also took off some of the white, of course, so. I'm gonna leave the eyebrows alone. I know they are not perfectly even. <laughs> and so, yes, that is going to bother me on the inside. But we are going to move on to the eyes, which her eye look is asymmetrical. She's got a full circle on one eye and then partial eye shadow on the other. Or no, she doesn't have anything on the other eye, but I've seen people do a makeup look where they do some on the other eye just because it looks better, I think, rather than leaving one of the eyes completely blank. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll do, wait, which, this eye is the full circle, and then I'll do like maybe a half look on this side. But either way, we are going to be using hot pink, this one right here probably, and then I can do my inner corners, or not my inner corners, my outer corners with the darker pink perhaps. And if all fails, I have a fresh, never used pink snazaroo. So fun thing about the pink and purple colors on this palette is it will stain me for probably the next 24 hours. Like when I did my Roxanne eyes for Phoenix Fan Fusion, I still had like pink stain on my eyelid from the purple eyeshadow for like the next day and a half. Hey 
Okay, so we've got the top of the lid done. I'm gonna do a little bit of the darker stuff in the corner. Cute, cute, very pink, very pink. All right, and now that that is done, I am going to probably use a brush to do the underlayer for the pink because my finger is, well, I could use my pinky actually. I might do that. using the brush to bring it up more because I want this side to be a lot more on the brow bone and then the other side I will probably just stick to the eyelid. There we go, there's that pink eye. It goes all the way around. And then I am going to just do the lid on this side. I want there to be something on this side because, I don't know, it just feels weird leaving it completely bare. Because I did, mostly probably because I did a really crappy, patchy white base. So I want to cover <laughs> my shame. So I'm gonna do it this way. Go. Now I'm just gonna add some, <laughs> this shade is called Stargasm, but it's like a pale peachy shimmery color and I'm just gonna boink. All right, so we have our pink down for our eyes and now I think I will do the eyeliner and the lashes before I start doing this stuff because I'll still be resting my hand in places. I'll finally actually just embrace the liquid eyeliner in its complete existence and I'll just start with that because I'm not worrying about doing any fancy shading or anything. I did a really long exaggerated wing for this look because I feel like it suits her. Right, there we go, there's one wing. <laughs> now for the other side. Ugh. That's terrible. <laughs> That's okay. I said long and dramatic. We do have long and dramatic. One side outdid the other, and now I have to decide if I'm going to try and clean up this one, or if I'm just gonna make the other one thicker. All right, there we go, we have our eyes or eyeliner anyway. Now I get to put on the lashes, so let's do that. Oh my gosh, why? I hate when the thing explodes on me. That's so fun, especially since this is the stuff that dries black, not clear, so anything it lands on, it will stain. Thanks for the heart attack, that was so fun. Now it came out way too quickly and I have a really thick line of glue on here. These are not coming off. <laughs> I will be stuck with these for the rest of the night. Okay, I very gently pressed it down because I don't need it to stay and I don't want it to rip off my face. So she's kind of dangling, but that's okay. Nobody's gonna know, like, how will they know? Okay, we have our lashes on. I'm not gonna blink too quickly, this one's still a little wet. But we are going to go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is cheeks, maybe nose. Yeah, we'll do nose next. I do have a couple of different orange shades on my palette and I've seen a lot of cosplayers just give her like an orange nose. So, and I get it cause like beak, I guess. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. I'm inspired. Welcome to um, a Bob Ross episode. 
You just beat the brush. Why don't you go down there? That's not where we're supposed to go. Okay, she is still pretty wet, so this might not work. I tried to beat the water out of you, but it didn't really work. <laughs> well, that's not bad. I'm just gonna do more color in the center of the nose and then I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight just to give it more of a blush feeling instead of I literally painted my nose orange feeling. <laughs> nose is done. I'm not gonna saturate it too much. I just kind of want it to look like a blush, I guess. So next up then we have our cheeks, which I think I'm just gonna go ahead and ugh, bust out this brand new Snazaroo. Oh, that is so light. That, whoa, that is much lighter than it looked in the, that, I'll get, okay, on camera it does look that light, but in person, this is a really stark difference. More paint. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Oh, you know what this could be too, because I'm layering this on top of white, so that could be my problem. Okay, so we have one side. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and map out the other with this color and then I will, uh-oh, I got a little speck up there, that's neat. Anyways, I'm gonna map this out on the other side with this color and then I will probably try and put eyeshadow over it to saturate it a bit more. Although, I mean, it looks fine, but I want it to be just a little bit more pink, you know? I just like really want this makeup look to pop. And in order to do that, I like need more color. All right, there we go. Cheeks are done. So the last thing left to do, I believe, is just her lips. I think we got a thick enough lip line to go off of. The problem was I kept uh, trying to get it symmetrical, remembered that my lips are not symmetrical, and then it all just went downhill from there. But now I'm going to fill it in with pink. All right, so I believe our face is done. So now all that is left is to transform into the pizza goblin Chica. Oh, and lest we forget the sexy fishnet for our heads. It's finally time to bring it out. Oh, how I've missed you. So then I will see you after the transformation. Okay, here is the finished look. <laughs> Thank you, Timmy. Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> oh, you are both the love of my life and the bane of my existence. So this is the finished look. I've got a mini skirt and a cute top. Both are from Cider, which is an online clothing store. Timmy is still drinking water, as I was saying. The top and the skirt are a matching set from Cider.com, a very cute fashion online store. Um, it is super cute and it was on clearance, so I got it a while ago, actually, and I'm just now finally able to use it for something because I don't really wear mini skirts and pink crop tops all that often. Um, but this was the perfect occasion, so. Shoulder pads are recycled from a an actual Glamrock Chica cosplay done by my mother. I made these for her. Um, same thing with these. These are recycled from my Roxanne cosplay, but you know, and technically Freddy too. Um, anyone who has these basically, that's what they uh, come in handy for. 
And then the leg warmers are from Amazon, also from my mother's cosplay. So I'm kind of borrowing from two closets. I'm borrowing from my own and my mom's. Um, if you want to see her Glamrock Chica cosplay, I'll pop up a couple pictures right next to me. And it was super fun to dress up all together at Phoenix Fan Fusion. We looked so cool together standing in a line. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It'll pop up somewhere where the info cards, whichever corner it comes from, it's coming right now. There it is. The tights are just tights from my closet. They don't come from any project specifically, um, but they do come in handy sometimes for cases like this. Shoes are something I got for Christmas one year. Um, gloves also from Amazon and wig from Amazon and bow from a craft store and we converted it into a clip-in hair thingy. Um, but yeah, that's it. That breaks down the look. Um, these are all things from mine and my mother's closet. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of this one. It's a good one. Thank you all for suggesting um, these characters, by the way. I haven't said that yet, so thank you for leaving these really fun suggestions for me to challenge myself and try. Um, also, if you guys were following along and did your own closet cosplay of Glamrock Chica, feel free to post pictures on your Instagrams if you have one, and if you are comfortable doing so. And please tag me in them because I want to see your guys' cosplays as well. That's one of the funnest parts of this challenge is being able to see other people also join in. So if you'd like to join in, please do so. And if you did enjoy this closet cosplay adventure, feel free to like the video. If you're new around here, subscribe for more content like this. I just brought this series back. And you can also enjoy things like FNAF music that I make myself and other goofy cosplay adventures as well. And sometimes film projects, which are also very fun. Stick around if you'd like. And also, Save some pizza for me, and always remember, stay bright, because you are a star, and I will see you all next time. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, but does it not, hear me out, does it not sound, I ignore my floppy shoulder pads. I very lazily safety pinned these on, so, as, as you can see. But that's not the point, ignore that. Does it not sound like she is saying what the fuck when you shoot her in the face with a phaser blaster sometimes? She's like, what the fuck? I think, that's gotta be. At least it sounds very, it sounds close enough, okay? It sounds close enough to be what the fuck. Okay, doodles, off to eat some pizza. 10 of them to be exact. And it's a shame because I don't have any like pizza to shove in my gob. I got a solution. Don't you worry. I got the solution. Ah, oh, my favorite. Here we go. Oh no, everything is going wrong. What is that smell? What is that? No, okay, I could not live like this. There is no, oh, to do this on purpose, to just, let... oh, what is that? What is, what is in here that smells, why does it smell like rot? It smells like rotten feet and a hint of coffee which is weird because I don't drink coffee, especially not out here. I don't even like coffee. Why do I keep smelling it thinking it's gonna be better? Nope, not worth it. Stick to pizza, kids. Don't eat the garbage. Don't be like me. <gasps> no, it spilled. <sighs> Pardon while I uh, make a quick call to some sweeper bots. <laughs>